sun can be super, super draining. I gotta do the dishes real quick before I go hop in the shower. I'm hoping the little one's asleep so I can go take a shower. We're gonna go attempt to put her down. Totally just jinx myself. Look who's up. Are you up? Go back to sleep. <sighs> We're gonna try and do this again. Oh my goodness. We have a lot of things to do today. Today is a really productive day. We just have some errands that we need to get done. Probably gonna stop by the new house today too and check it out because apparently they worked on the exterior and they're starting to work inside now. So I'm excited to see how the house is starting to look like. We actually just got good news that it'll probably be done at the end of December, but we won't be moving in until January only because we have some like side projects that we're gonna do on our own and we're not gonna have the contractors do just to save ourselves a little bit of cash. It felt so nice to get like a nice workout in. I feel like working out just makes me feel really complete and feels like I did something today. For the past month, we kind of just been like stuck indoors doing absolutely nothing and it's it's been a little a little chaotic. I also worked out on my period today and I finally got my period after giving birth. My hormones are all over the place. I'm like super emotional. I kind of feel bad because I've been putting it all over on Elijah. Like he'll try and come and cuddle me and I'll be like, no, no. When I have like my menstrual cycle, I just I just want my own space. This postpartum has been a lot easier than my first, only because with my first, Elijah wasn't home. He was working from like 3 a.m. all the way to 4 p.m. So it was usually just me taking care of Eliana, and I was always sleep deprived because I never got sleep at night. It was also my first time too, so I didn't know what I was doing. But this postpartum just has been so much easier, only because Elijah's home. We know what we're doing this time, and I feel like we're getting enough sleep. Like me and him have this whole routine that just works out for both of us. I just been really, really grateful about it. It just feels really nice. Like we have time to like work out. We have time to make breakfast in the morning. We have time to shower. Like I actually got to shower. I feel like I would go days without showering with um, Eliana. The only thing that's been really rough is I've just been really self-conscious. I gained a little bit more weight with this pregnancy than my first pregnancy. I've been getting like rashes all over my body. I usually get rashes like that when my anxiety is really bad. And that's actually what I had during my pregnancy. At first, the doctors didn't know what it was. They were just like, what is this mystery rash? But it turns out it was because I was having really bad anxiety and I didn't know. So they prescribed me anxiety medication and it helped a lot and I actually just ran out of it. I just finished getting ready for the day. We're gonna go head out to Target just to get out of the house, run a little bit of errands. Wanna get Eliana mostly out of the house cause I feel so bad leaving her like indoors most of the time. But before we do that, since I was talking a little bit about my postpartum mental health and how everything has been going, I really wanna say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Better H-E-L-P. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online so you can get help in your own environment. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network with over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists that can help you with any range of issues. To get started, there's a questionnaire that you fill out and it will help you assist your needs, which will match you with a therapist. What I love about BetterHelp is that you actually have the option to do video, phone, or even text sessions. However you feel comfortable, you can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient to you. A lot of people tend to not get help because they're always so busy with work, with school, just basically the lifestyle. So I love that you can just get help in your own home if your therapist isn't the right fit for you, you can always switch to a different one at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you can get the same professionalism and quality that you expect from an in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you with more scheduling, flexibility, and even at a affordable price. If this is something that you are looking into or you know someone that is struggling that would love to know how to get started, you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Kasuga. I will also link it down below in the description box so you guys can check it out.
we give her random toys from Target and we just let her play with it in the cart and it keeps her occupied. Until she screams when we tear it away from her as yeah. we go. <laughs> Let's go. Is that baby shark? <laughs> We're trying to find Eliana some sandals because hers are just like breaking apart. These ones are cute. There's a small one. This is size eight. Size eight. Size eight is big. Size seven barely fits her. Is it too big? Yeah. So size seven? Yeah, I'll get her size seven because she's still growing into size seven. She's not even there yet. Okay. So, size seven. Let's find you new shoes. Ellie, do you want to pick out your shoes? What shoes do you want? Right here. Right here. What shoes? <laughs> Look at these shoes. Oh, oh and she's gone. This one is asleep right now. Running. She's out. Oh, she's running. She's running. Babe, go get her. Go get her. We just got home. I'm gonna do a quick Target haul for you guys. This is my favorite candle right now. I don't know if you guys know Ashley Tisdale, but this is her brand. And I got a PR package from her. In that PR package, this candle was in there and it smelled so amazing that I burnt the whole entire thing. So I had to get a new one. The scent is Lavender Cloud. It smells like when you walk into a spa place, like it just, it smells so good. And it's not super strong too. I really wish she made bigger size candles though. I usually finish this candle in like one day. I've never heard this brand before, but I got these press on nails because I thought they were so cute and my nails are looking really crusty right now. I don't have any time to get my nails done anytime soon right now. So these ones are really random, but I got some vitamin. I've been obsessed with like taking care of my health. I got some cranberry pills to take every Every single day if you are prone to UTIs I highly recommend taking cranberry pills every single day and then I was researching about elderberry a bunch of people were talking about like the benefits of it and so I decided to do like my research about it and it's supposed to help with like your immune support I have a really crappy immune system like I constantly get sick all the time getting sick with two kids in the house just sounds like an absolute nightmare if one person is sick then everyone else gets sick and it's usually always me Funny, the fact that she's pushing you on the bike. I usually drink elderberry tea. These are the two vitamins I'm taking right now. And then this is what I'm gonna be adding to my vitamin routine. Is that a thing? I don't know, but I take postnatal. I highly recommend if you give birth, take postnatal. It's never too late to take postnatal too. So if you're six months postpartum, you can still take postnatal. And then I also got this one sent to me as a PR and I just started taking it. It's just women's multivitamins. So that's what I take to keep myself very nice and healthy, I guess. I should have just got you a cleaning set for your birthday for some reason she has this obsession with cleaning. She likes to take the sponges out of the cabinet and just start cleaning the floors. I'm gonna use my Dr. Brown bottles today to pump. Hold on, baby girl. 19 more seconds. The pressure when they're like crying and you're trying to get the bottle ready. Go get your baby sister. Go. Hurry, hurry, she's crying, go. Thank you. All better. Okay, about to start pumping my breast milk right now. This is my Dr. Brown breast pump. Let's see, I think I'm gonna make four ounces each boob. Eliana loves to watch what I'm doing and it's so funny because sometimes she'll take my pumps and pretend that she's trying to pump breast milk. Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Where is it? Mommy. Where are you? Here I am. Here I am. How do you do? Here I am. Here I am. How do you do? Good job. Can you sing Baby Shark? Baby Shark. Can you sing uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> Itsy Bitsy Spider. Itsy Bitsy Spider. Itsy Bitsy Spider. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. What sound does the lion make? What sound does the monster make? 
<laughs> what sound does a cat make? Okay. What sound does a doggy make? What about a pig? What about a cow? What about a sheep? What about a horse? <laughs> what about babe? What's another animal? Cow. I know. I know that a cow is an animal. What sound does a frog make? Um, you're not really there. Anyways, <laughs> a chicken. What sound does a chicken make? So I just finished pumping. I only pumped for like eight minutes because my toddler did not want me sitting down. So I got three ounces on this boob, almost two ounces on the right. Let me know if you guys want to buy this. Two hundred dollars. Eliana's artwork. Here, Eliana, sign it right here so I can sell it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. I'm gonna relax for a bit before I start dinner tonight. We're gonna have a chicken curry. dinner i made japanese curry this is a family recipe my mom used to make this all the time but she would use beef instead or sometimes she'll make chicken katsu and then just make the curry base and it's absolutely amazing elijah loves this with just like chicken inside he requested it for dinner so i made it and it's super easy i've also been really obsessed with ginger ale when i was in labor all they had in like the snack room for drinks was water and ginger ale after i got home i just kept craving ginger ale thank you mama you're welcome